fight every time I'm in front of a camera My G's spark trees, I'll drop V Bip, 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 gotta talk you know i know it's late right now a lot of y'all gonna wake up to this video i know y'all looking at me like what does he got on man lions nation unite got the gear going man got the cooling tile the mask got all type of gear around this office right now man shout out to herman moore team 84 man had an absolute blast for the draft party tonight man launching the network and also launching a new store where you guys can get all of these items man get your swag right this swag is for you Lions Nation Unite is made for you, for the fan base. So, you know, like I said, just the shirt I had on tonight. Don't F this up. Lions Nation Unite, man. You guys can find this shirt also in the store. And any of the shirts that any of us had on on the panel, you guys can find those shirts as well. So I'll put the link in the description. So make sure that you guys go and check that out, man. Download the app and become a, a part of of the Lions Nation, man. So with that said, let's talk. It's time to get busy. Aiden Hutchinson is a Detroit Lion, baby. <laughs> yes, baby. My boy is a man. Mm -mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? We, huh, we just did the right thing. You know what I'm saying? We, it wasn't no, it's not a safe pick. You know what I'm saying? Some people may, oh, it was just a safe pick. No, bro. They really could have went a lot of different directions. Um, Aiden Hutchinson, here's the, here's the thing. You know, it's what you're getting. Y'all can check out my previous video. I broke it down on there. But you're getting more. You get more than just speed and, and, and power. A power punch, you know what I'm saying? You're getting more with Aiden Hutchins. I cannot keep, you know, expressing that enough to you guys, man. Um, you know, and his IQ, his attitude. You, did you see the way that Aaron Glenn was oozing? Oozing over the fact that he has Aiden Hutchins on his defense. Do you see how I was oozing in my last video? Do you not understand the, the IQ that's, that's going to be out there on the field now, the leadership on the field now, on that D-line. I mean, let's not get it twisted, man. We that we don't have a leader on our D-line. Trey Flowers is not the guy. <laughs> you know, I mean, what was not the guy. Now we have a guy that's a leader, and he has the IQ. Oh, my God, y'all just don't. Y'all ain't feeling me, bro. Y'all ain't feeling me. You know, and some of you guys... Y'all come with some of the most lazy arguments, bro. Oh, he was a one hit wonder. You some of the some of these some of the defensive edge rushers that y'all love so much also had one really good season. So it's listen, when it comes to football, it's a what have you done for me lately type of deal. You know what I'm saying? It's what have you done for me lately? You know what I'm saying? So you got a guy, A. Hutchinson, a freshman year, and then a year with injury, and then that year when he's healthy, he shines. He absolutely shines. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, y'all got to stop with these lazy arguments. You know, uh, bro, you're just getting more bang for your buck. I can't, I can't tell y'all that enough. Whether, whether you're mad about the pick or whatever it is, Listen, keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself because I ain't even trying to hear it, bro. I'm not because I know for a fact, I know the Lions fan base. 90% of the Lions fan base are casuals. You don't watch college football. You don't. You can say you do all you want to. You don't watch college football. <laughs> you don't watch You don't watch college football. You damn sure don't watch film. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, like I said, man, I'm, I'm absolutely excited. I'm absolutely excited right now because, you know, this just rejuvenates the hell out of me, man, because there's so much that I want to talk about, so much I want to break down about this, you know what I'm saying, and putting him in this defense and, 
you know, the effect that it's going to have on this defense, you know what I'm saying? Then on the offensive side of the ball, we go out and get, you know, when healthy, the best receiver in the draft. I mean, Jameson Williams, bro, is an absolute beast. Eight, nine games with with plays over 50 yards. Six or seven games with plays over 75 yards. Like, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This, this man is a big play. He is what we needed. We needed the big play guy. Even though we have a quarterback in Jared Goff currently on this team that's not really a long bomb-throwing guy, well, when you get a guy like this, you may be able to help that situation some. You know, he's going to open up the offense for guys like Swift, Hawkinson, you know what I'm saying, Amara St. Brown, Chark. He's going to open up some things, man. So, you know, like I said, um, all I needed to hear was the reports of how it was progressing. How was this injury? Is it recovering well from it? And it absolutely is. They actually, He's actually recovering really, really nice, uh, according to the reports, man. So... You know, I'm comfortable with it, man. I, I really don't want to, you know, I didn't want to trade with the Vikings. But I just appreciate the fact that Brad Holmes went and got his guy. You know what I'm saying? He went and got his guy. He was aggressive. He said, look, I'm going to get my dude. You know what I'm saying? F them picks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, my thing with Williams, he has to, he got, he has to shine. In order for this to work, he has to shine because otherwise this fan base, we're, we're going to use that, you know, as a really bad scar on Brad Holmes as far as GM. So um, definitely has to work out for him. You know, like I said, I'm not really concerned with the ACL injury. If it was 1997, I probably would. But, you know, we've, we were, we've come a long way, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to the medical industry and, I'm not so concerned about that because these these are kids still, you know, these are young guys we draft and still it'd be different if it was a 28 year old player, you know, with a lot of wear and tear. Um, so, you know, I'm not really concerned. You know, a lot of people that's going to complain about it is probably the same people in the same breath that said we should take Kyle Hamilton at too. You know what I'm saying? Who also has a, a history of an injury uh, similar. So, um, yeah, man, it's just, like I said, round two is going to be spectacular. It's, it's a lot of people that's still available. You know, I, I try to warn you guys. I try to warn you guys, man. I know a lot of you guys are casuals and you listen to the media and you just watch highlights. You know what I'm saying? The tape don't lie. And that's why Malik Willis is still on the board. I said it before, man. In any other draft, Malik Willis is not even in the conversation. <laughs> He's not even in the conversation of going in the first round, period. There's no hype. You know what I'm saying? But since this was such a lackluster quarterback class, this was the, the draft of the receivers this year. You know what I'm saying? Um, but since it's such a lackluster quarterback draft, you know what I'm saying? It's... His name was just thrown and thrusted out there. They got to advertise you something. You know what I'm saying? So he made some cute throws in drills, um, you know, at the at the pro day and, and stuff like that at the combine. You know, we all know the tools are there. Um, the only question mark is can he think football? Can he, you know, get through them progressions? Can he do all the other things? These are the things, you know, that I was trying to explain to you guys. And... You know, a lot of franchises just what they they not buying the hype like fans will. You know, I expect that from fans. You know, I expect uh because like I said, a lot of fan a lot of fans don't have time to watch film. They don't have time to watch college football. They're not you know, it's impossible for people to watch every football team in college, you know what I'm saying? So uh but for guys like me and a lot of these other content creators that said no, we took the time to watch, you know, that film and to watch those real breakdowns, you know what I'm saying? I always tell you guys, every year, you know, you want to find channels like QB School. You, you can pull that up on YouTube, QB School. He did a thorough job and broke down every single quarterback, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to defensive linemen, Vach Lombardi, my brother Vach Lombardi, bro. I tell you all the time, the film sessions, 
one dollar for to his Patreon. You come in the field session, the film sessions with us, some of us other content creators, man, and we gonna have a good time watching film. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I know it's not the most sexy and attractive thing to watch on YouTube, but if you really cared about your team, you really want your team to make right picks. It's something that you should do. It's something that you can do. Um, but yeah, I expect the second round to be really, really, um, really interesting because we got a lot of guys uh, left. You know what I'm saying? And some of those guys are, you know, Malik Willis, Nicobe Dean, Kenneth Walker. You know what I'm saying? You got some names, man. You got some guys that's still hanging around. So I almost thought Dax, uh, Dax Hill was uh, going to end up in the second round, but he ended up going right at the very end. So, um, yeah, we still need linebacker help. We need safeties. You know what I'm saying? And I expect the Lions to go and take care of that. That's what I'm expecting, you know, tomorrow. So make sure you guys tune in. I'll be live back on my channel uh, tomorrow. Also, I'll be going live on We Three Kings, my sports pod uh, channel. We'll be live. So, you know, make sure you guys tune in. We're going to have a heck of a time tomorrow evening as well. And uh, as this, uh, you know, weekend goes on, we're going to really start digging into some, some Aiden Hutchinson. You know what I'm saying? There's some some Jameson Williams, man. This is going to be fun. Um, I am totally, totally rejuvenated. You know what I'm saying? But like I said before, once again, shout out to Herman Moore, man, and Lions Nation Unite. I had an absolute ball tonight with him, Micro Mike. You know what I'm saying? And Chrissy, man, we we did our thing. And, uh, you know, we had a, a really, really nice time, man. That, the studio was a blast tonight. Launching that and launching the store was really, really fun. So, with that said, man, that's all I got for y'all in this video. I'm not about to go to bed. Y'all can see it in my eyes. I'm not tired at all. Um, you know, it's time for me to start digging and going and, and seeing what's going on out there right now because it's still chaotic on Twitter and places like that. So with that said, it's your boy King, man. New pride, baby. New pride.